to my channel. I'm Stephanie Cole and this is Stephanie Cole Over 50 Living. Today I am in the mood to decorate for spring. It has been unseasonably warm and glorious out in here in Northern California. Unfortunately, we're not getting the rain that we need, but it's still beautiful. Everything's in bloom and it's warm and I decided that I was going to go ahead and start decorating for spring. So what I did is I went on Pinterest and maybe this might be a Pinterest fail, we'll see. I found two different projects that I want to try. On Pinterest there was a woman who had printed off vintage flowers onto wood rounds and she used them as coasters and I want to kind of take that same idea but I want to make it into a garland and so I'm going to see if I can figure out how to do that. And then the other thing is, and I don't know if anybody's ever seen them, they are pine cones that they have cut and painted and then they turn them into flowers and then I saw, I think it's my 100 year old home that did this, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so then I thought, well, I would try that. But then when I was at my daughter's house, she had these pine cones that look like rosettes. So I'm going to be painting these and then I'm going to be cutting and painting the other pine cones. And I'm going to make a spring slash summery kind of wreath to go on my front door. So those are the two things that we're going to be doing today. If you like this kind of content, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I have a question at the end of this. Um, so after I get everything done, I will be back on because I have a question for you guys. Anyway, let's get started. So to get started, I wanted to show you. So first of all, these are kind of the vintage prints that I had found and that I want to use. And then to print it off, I have wax paper. I don't know if you can see, here's the wax paper. And then it goes over the edge and I have it taped right here. And then I'm going to put it face down into the printer and print off one sheet at a, at a time. So that's where we're gonna start off with and hopefully it works. <laughs>
string the string through. Keeps unraveling. Oh, that works. All right. on the spring wreath and I'm not gonna lie so what you want to do is you take a full pine cone and you want to cut it well it's easier said than done I tried just regular shears I tried a little saw I couldn't get it I was a mess and then I found you know the big loppers that kind of they're long and then anyway the big loppers those worked so that is what I did and this is kind of how they look before you paint them. So they look like little flowers in there and I have great belief that it's going to turn out really cute. So let's get started. I have just a regular, I'm forever, I'm forever <laughs> popping out of the frame. I just have a regular wreath. And I have my greens that I'm going to use are some eucalyptus that I had bought wow, about a year ago and I haven't used yet so I'm going to use that. And then what I'm going to show you is how I'm going to paint them. I'm thinking that I'm both going to glue and wire. Anyway, let's get going on this. It's a gorgeous day so if the sun is really bright on me, I'm sorry but um, I want to get this done because I want to get out in the garden. So the three colors I have decided on are going to be a pink that I added a little bit of white to, yellow, and orange. And I thought those would be, <laughs> they kind of look like sherbet, so hey, that can't be wrong, right? <laughs> I've got some eucalyptus and I've got this wreath. We are going to get this put together. I cut the eucalyptus before I brought it in here so that it would be more manageable. Because those long spears never work out. So I thought that I would glue them on first and then after that, go through and wire them in. I'm trying to be really careful not to have a bunch of glue strings. That makes it look so bad. video now I have a question I've been doing these videos now for a couple of months and I've gone from doing cooking and crafting and doing the kind of a relaxing type of vlog and gardening seasons right around the corner so I'm just curious as an audience what you're interested in if I should focus in on more one kind or do you like the variety just let me know if not that's okay too I'll just keep doing what I'm doing <laughs> anyway 
Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.